Your boy wanna hold me South Florida Yep, he hit the real, it is the one I hit up I need a house on the beach, get some sun Palm trees, family, it's all I want Yes, 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 my friends. Hey, you already know what time it is. You know it's Pierre Nicholson, your favorite realtor down here in beautiful South Florida. And do I have a treat for you. Hey, I'm out here in the beautiful community of Arden, right there by Lockahatchee and Wellington. Beautiful new construction by Geo Homes. Hey, take a quick peek. Kaboom! Brand new construction. Listen, man, out here in the beautiful community of Arden, they're almost halfway completed within less than a year. I mean, they're almost halfway sold out in less than a, in less than a year, okay? But before we get into that, you already know what time it is. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every time I, that's right, drop a new video. And if you're thinking about buying a home down here in beautiful South Florida, anywhere in West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, or Miami, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, even leave a comment down below and I'd be glad to help. But the easiest way is to go down in, in the description and click on schedule a call. All right, enough of that. Let's get back to this. Kaboom! Beautiful brand new construction. This one is called the Oakland. Let me give you the stats real quick. Four bedrooms, a den, an optional fifth bedroom if you want to, four bathrooms, a loft, a great room, covered patio, two car garage, 3,815 square feet. You're looking at the coastal elevation. They got three elevations, farmhouse, rustic, and coastal. Uh, the base price is... Okay, you got an HOA of $282 per month. And let's walk up to it. Beautiful, man. Very traditional type vibes. Let's walk up to it slowly. I'm loving the covered patio in the front. Okay. Let's take our time. Built out of concrete totally. I would definitely obscured this glass, frosted, right? Wow, look at this. Big entryway foyer. And I'm loving the drop on they put here. Very nice. I call them skinny tables. Let's go. Wow, they turned this office into, it's so big, they turned it into a movie room. It transitioned, I'm liking this transition better. Um, the carpet. Okay, I'm not a carpet person, but in a movie room, you kind of need the carpet because you're gonna have the bass, you're gonna have the music, and it acts almost like a sound room. The carpet kind of helps dampen that noise, which helps give you a better uh, movie experience, right? So, and yes, in the theater room, yes, your carpet is okay. For me, anywhere else, my, I gotta have a carpet-free house. Right, here go the beautiful area rugs. Yes, you could definitely do area rugs. Area rugs will help pop the place, okay? It doesn't have to be 100% cold, non carpet -y. Area rugs definitely give it a vibe. Undermount sink, quartz countertop, frameless mirror. I'm loving the light fixtures. Right, here go a tub, nice niche. Of course, I'm not, I'm not gonna use a curtain. I'm, it's gonna be glass, right? Because that's the way you can pop it out and give your home more of a, a pop, you know what I mean? Wow, you could almost make this a, a, a powder room. Add a sink, you know, run some plumbing in here. It looks, big, it looks big enough to do a vibes, right? But this is great storage. Wow, you can store a lot of things in that closet. And look at this wallpaper. The insulation on it is very good. I'm wondering if the garage is open. Nope, you know, they usually close it because they're using their storage. Look at this. Beautiful, let's walk this way, here go the kitchen. Wow, I'm loving this white quartz. Let me see if this is one piece, I'd have been, uh, listen, I, I, it's not one piece, it's actually in two pieces, but I would have been like, yeah, they're giving you the business. They're still giving you the business. 
Okay, but if it was one piece, I'd have been highly impressed. Undermount scent, gooseneck faucet. Look at the seating arrangement around here, man. You can see a lot of people, you know, they're just spacing out the seat. That space is so big, you actually put another chair in between that space. Okay. Beautiful. Let me walk this way. Looks like they, this is the same GE uh, package that they got going on here. Right. Beautiful. They got the freezer on the bottom. Wall oven with the microwave. You got very smooth, matted cabinets. Very modern looking too. I'm loving the lights underneath the upper cabinets. You have your range hood and exhaust to the exterior. Obviously that's a gas stove. It's a countertop gas stove too. Wi-Fi oven, very spacious with the quartz. All right, I'm loving how they use the quartz as a backsplash. Wonderful feature wall, and I love the fact they floated you on the entertainment center. Big living area, you know. And I like the I like the way how it's positioned with the kitchen. So I, I call this quarterback. And if you're, if you're cooking or chilling or grabbing treats, or whatever, or pouring wine, you know, boom, you can quarterback a conversation over there, and you can quarterback a conversation over here, and not miss a beat. All right, let's go walk this way towards the formal dining. Wow, and I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I really like these chairs. It looks very comfortable. Like, you can spend hours in here just sitting in these chairs talking. I'm loving the open shelving on this beautiful feature wall. And wow, look at this. I like how they they put the gaps in there and the gaps turn into a shelf. That's, that's pretty nice, All right? Beautiful, let's look at that. Oh, uh, yeah, they closed, they closed the sliders. So let's take a look from here. Beautiful back terrace, very big too. Wow, this seats, this is a table. You can see 10 at this table easy, right? Nice light fixture. Let's take a look from this angle of the backyard. Since we can't go out there, we need to, you know, look at, at it from much angles as possible. Wow, you got a nice green space in the backyard. So your kids could even play out there. No issue of them, you know, falling into the pool. You can put this in case if you're, if you're kind of worried. You can, they got the hole so you can put the little mesh out and block the pool and they could completely play out there. Right? Let's continue. This is nice, even from this angle. Let's go upstairs. I love the wood on the stairs, the open railings. And they put the wood on the railing. I'm not a big fan of like the modern cut of this wood on this railing, but I do love the openness of it. And sometimes it, it comes down to, you know, what your budget is saying. So you could be saying, you know, I, I don't like this, I don't like that, but your budget say, hey, you got no choice. So it is what it is that, you know, nobody's not gonna judge you on that. The most important thing is that you got a home. Beautiful. I'll put the shower. I, come on, I'm not putting a glass on that tub. Right, or if you can, my, I'll, I'll, I'll try to see if the budget will allow me just to put a shower in here. Under Mount St. Quartz countertop. You got your pocket lights in the bathroom and in the bedroom. Very spacious. Let me go from this side of the room. This room faces the front of the house. Okay. It's not a big closet, but it will do. You can put wonderful built-ins in that closet. I've seen a closet like that with built-ins and it just wakes it up. Beautiful loft area. Right, very spacious too. They put like a built-in, <laughs> float you on the pool. Like a, this is a table for the pool, like a little bar area for the pool. That's pretty nice. Obviously, this is the AC. Right? And this might be some type of storage or bathroom. Yeah, storage, storage closet. Especially put a built-in in it and customize it for like storing games or whatever have you for, for this area. Trust me, man. It's gonna, it's gonna wake up your whole house. You'll see. Just do it. And you see what I'm talking about. 
Here we go the laundry room. Here we go the transition from this wood floor to this tile. Undermount sink, not undermount sink, overmount sink, but they gave you the same quartz. Okay. Here we go the shelving. Let's walk this way. This is looking like a linen closet. Nice. The transition from this wood to this high gloss floor. Undermount sink, quartz countertop, frameless mirror. Here you go the tub. Okay, let's go into this bedroom right here. It transitions to the carpet. One thing about these homes that GL home, GL, one thing about these homes that GL homes are building in Arden, they're, the, the, the rooms are very spacious, okay? The clo this closet is not so big, but you put a built in here, it'll wake it up easy. All right? And you're gonna realize that certain models, like all the closets are very, are, are deep and some of, the, some of the other models. So it depends what is important to you. Cause I know everybody wants a big closet, but you know, the, can your budget allow you to get that closet? Or you might have to leave it basic just, to, just for the layout. So just walk through a home, not for the finishing, but for the layout. Cause you might not be able to do everything and you might not want to do everything. You get what I'm saying? Let's continue this way. So I'm gonna assume this is a master bedroom. I don't know, but I'm just gonna say anyways. Let's enter, hopefully, the master bedroom. Let's go. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Nice bathroom. And they split you on the vanity. Some people don't like when the mirrors are facing each other like this, because then you get like this 3D effect. Like you keep seeing, keep seeing yourself forever in the mirror. Some people don't like that. Some people don't have a problem with that. Makeup vanity, quartz countertop, undermount sink, frameless mirror. You got your hot tub right here. Loving the window treatment. Wow, they should have just made this frameless, man. Cause this looks so beautiful right here. Almost like jewelry. You need to get rid of these frames. Big shower, man. Wow. You can almost put two shower heads in there. Here you go the water closet. And <laughs> I'm already in love because I love a water closet with a window. And that window is already obscured. So you don't even need that window treatment right there. All right, let's walk this way. This bedroom is carpeted. You got two closets in here, right? So, you know, if you're a couple, you could decide who gets what, right? And if you're single, one clothes, one shoes. And right, let's continue. Wow. I'm, lo I'm loving how the bed head comes up to the ceiling goes all the way to the entertainment center, even come back down. Usually I see it where it go and it stop, like right there, but now it continue, I like that. And I'm loving this light fixture, these side table dressers, cause they're, they're big like dressers. You, this, how, th th this bedroom is fully spacious, not partially spacious, but fully spacious. And this has the view of the backyards. So kids can be playing, you can, you can look at them from right here, right? So yeah, so that's about it. Hey, thank you for rock with me. And if you didn't, then you're crazy. Hey, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified every time I, that's right, drop a new video. And if you're thinking about buying a home down here in beautiful South Florida, anywhere in West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, or Miami, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Even leave a comment down below and I'll be glad to help. But the easiest way to schedule your call, trust me, the easiest way to go in the description and click on schedule a call. Trust me, that's the easiest way. That's the way you want to do that, okay? I appreciate you a thousand percent. You know it's your favorite realtor, Pierre Nicholson. Till the next property. Peace! If I wanna hold me South Florida Yeah, be the real, it is the one I hit up I need a house on the beach, get some sun Palm trees, family, it's all I want That's all I really want, all I really need South Florida living on my TV New videos out weekly Kaboom, I think I found the one I want, baby Yeah, a new start, a new